presentation goes to someone who worked for Forrest way back in the 90s. He was Forrest spokesman in Scotland, and since he stepped down 20 years ago, he's had a remarkable, occasionally controversial uh, career. Uh, in that time, he spent seven years as a Conservative member of the Scottish Parliament and many more years as a columnist for the Scotsman and the Edinburgh Evening News. He's written two reports for Forrest in that time, The Bully State, in 2008 and McNanny State in 2018. But ladies and gentlemen, who could have predicted his latest career move? Well, please welcome a former Forest spokesman for Forest in Scotland and now, ladies and gentlemen, the new MEP for the North East of England, Mr. Brian Monteith. What I'd love to say is that Forest has been to me an inspiration because it has not just thought of itself, as many, as many single-issue campaigns do. It has thought of the broader picture. And the difficulty it has had is that many organisations have not joined to recognise that as smokers have been made pariahs, so too have people who have sought to enjoy tobacco, uh, and, uh, enjoy alcohol, enjoy the freedoms of actually being gourmands like myself. <laughs> so let's, let's rejoice in the fact that Forrest doesn't just push the freedom to smoke tobacco, it pushes the freedom to enjoy life itself. That's what Forrest is about. So thank you, thank you, Sam. Thank you for uh, thank you for what you've done because what you have made sure is that the smokers still have a voice in a time when big corporates are all the time comp compromising and ensuring with politicians, uh, of which I'm certainly against, uh, that, that, that politicians will remove our freedoms. We have to fight to continue to make sure the individual remains superior over the collective. That's what Forrest is about. Thank you. Thank you.